Thank you so much for joining us. I am Mike Jeffries, the play-by-play voice here at Barry Wrestling, and this is a new show we're doing called Getting to Know, where we get to learn a little bit more about the wrestlers and talent that make Barry Wrestling so great. Today, we're getting to know Myung Jae Lee. Myung Jae, thank you so much for joining me. Hello. Thank you for having me. So, first questions, where are you from and how long have you been wrestling? I'm from Buffalo, New York, and I debuted in 2020, right before the pandemic hit, And but really, I kind of count my debut as to be in, like, May 2021. So not not the best time to break into wrestling, no, I guess. No, not at all. Not at all. So uh, what brought you to Barry Wrestling in the first place? Um, all the guys at Grapplers Anonymous, uh, Puff, Daniel Garcia, Kevin Blackwood, they would wrestle here. Um, and I started traveling in cars with them, and it just ended up being a promotion that became one of my homes. And what, what were your first impressions of uh, Barry Wrestling? Uh, first of all, the locker room was just wonderful like just a great group of guys and just a good time to be around and it was very good wrestling inside this random church <laughs> i uh same first impressions for me when i first came out here six years ago i didn't know what to expect from an indie and then i saw some matches and i was like oh this is actually good yeah there's some real talent here now speaking i mean you're also very talented and and your debut match here one match of the year Yes. And it was against Black Lavender Lion- Lionel Knight, who is one of the most beloved wrestlers in Barry Wrestling history. At what point during the match, or did you notice during the match, like, this is something special? Well, he's a great competitor, very tough, uh, but also just the the crowd involvement in that match was cheering for him. They didn't know who I was, but by the end of it, they were cheering for both of us. And I think that's when you can tell when something is special, when you are able to get a crowd behind you and that was that was the outdoor show as yes, well so yes. it's hard to get a loud crowd when you're out in the open air like it that is. and you guys yeah you definitely had the crowd behind you now uh, you mentioned you know riding in the car with garcia and blackwood and and puff among others that the buffalo car is famous around you know the ontario and the new york indies and like how important is that camaraderie on those long drives match planning everything about that car like how important is that for you as a wrestler so as a wrestler, it was very important for me while I was breaking in. Um, and I would even still consider that, you know, I'm still kind of breaking in and I'm still traveling whenever I can, even if I'm not booked on a show. Um, and just them having gone through a bunch of experiences and able to talk about them to me has really helped me as a performer. Um, and just as a wrestler and getting to know the road and what to do and what not to do. So... And when it's you, Puff, and Haley in the car, who controls the music? Uh, most of the time, Puff. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. I feel bad for you guys, but well, you know, I'm sure he's not, got some good taste. It's not too bad. It's a lot of uh, Avit Brothers or Oliver Tree. I'm ashamed to say I don't know who that is, and I feel like I'm going to get yelled at for that later. Oh, that's okay. So, you are the current Three Pistols champion. Yeah. And later today, by the time you guys see this, the match will already have happened, but later today you're taking on Junior Benito in what should be an awesome match. But when you won the Three Pistols title off of John Atlas, like take me through that moment. What was going through your head in that moment? Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, my parents were here in the crowd. Oh, wow. Um, the, it was the first time that the Barry Wrestling crowd, like it, it sounded very loud and they were all like literally chanting my name before uh it was always just like a few claps or like normal wrestling chants but they were chanting my name which is a korean name which is kind of hard to pronounce (laughs) and so that was really cool to hear and once i won it it was it was just so special it was it was an awesome moment it was a lot of fun for me on commentary uh to see that happen and you won a gauntlet match to get there too like you you had to get through a lot of talent in order to even take on john atlas and you have since successfully defended the title a few times and a lot of your matches have been against bigger competitors like john atlas today you're taking on junior benito who is more your size you know we're both smaller guys so how does your strategy planning change when it's taking on somebody like that or does it change you just want to kind of have your own fight it doesn't change too much i and with junior specifically i wrestled him in september of 2021 um and it was my first match at another promotion um and he was a very tough competitor and he beat me that time but since then both of us have gone on our separate career paths and have been challenged by better wrestlers 
Um, so I'm really looking forward to today because I feel like we've grown a lot within the last year or so, and uh, I'm just prepared for anything and everything. I'm looking forward to that match as well. And we can tell you, is it C4? We C4, they're our friends. Um, check that match out on IWTV. If you haven't signed up yet, sign up. Use the code 400 North. Help support Barry Wrestling. Um, now, Junior, he won that match. Yes. But he also he kind of had home court advantage there because it was in, in Ottawa. So this is more of a neutral site, and you're the champ. So I'm pulling for you today. Now, talking about your fighting style, you use a lot of strikes, a lot of martial arts. Now, was that something you practiced before you became a wrestler, or, or how did that come about? Martial arts specifically, no. I took a few taekwondo classes at a uh, Korean culture camp uh, that I went to as a kid growing up, uh, but that's just because I'm adopted and I was getting to know my Korean culture. Um, but other than that, the only other outside experience out of professional wrestling is amateur wrestling. I did the freestyle, uh, folk style, and Greco-Roman wrestling. What is folk style? Folk style is like high school and college. Freestyle and Greco is more Olympic. Okay. It's, uh, it's pretty much all the same thing with separate rules and times and stuff. So just you, the strikes just kind of came naturally to you? It just seemed to fit? For yeah, your style? having Kevin Blackwood as a <laughs> uh, as a mentor helped immensely too. How often do you get hit real hard in practice at Graps? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I actually was just looking at one of my Snapchat memories, and it was a sel a mirror selfie of me covered up in like bruises right here, and uh, I captioned it, "Thanks, Red Death." <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the style shows. Like, there's definitely a Buffalo style, which is just. It's like North American strong style almost, just hitting people very hard. Now, speaking of grabs in Buffalo, you know, Buffalo's favorite son is Puff. Yes. And Puff held, you know, the Three Pistols Championship you have now, he held it for over 400 days. I believe the longest reigning Three Pistols champion. Now, on those car rides, in, any trash talk from him? Any, like, threats of challenging for your title? All the time. <laughs> Every time I get in a car with Puff, which is often, I'm scared to my bones. <laughs> He knows it's not 24-7 rules, right? Like, it has yes. to happen. Okay. He, he, he knows, but I, I'm still on edge. I'm still on edge. Just going to be an elbow drop while you're sleeping or something Probably. like that. <laughs> Probably. And, and, and your Three Pistols title has also, it's seen the rounds. You know, I believe Kevin Blackwood, Daniel Garcia have both had pictures taken with yeah. it. Um, we won't talk about the Blackwood photo. <laughs> um, if you had one celebrity that you could put that title on, one athlete, one celebrity, who, who would you want to, like, hand the title to for a picture? Mm, that was a very tough question because there's so many different celebrities. I could literally choose anyone. Um, I guess maybe maybe Hugh Jackman. Okay, that'd be awesome. Wolverine. Uh, lately, I've been watching this clip of him uh, on YouTube recognizing an interviewer that he taught when he was a gym teacher. And but like now his student is all grown up and interviewing him at like a red carpet. And he's like, oh, wait, you're that guy. And like that was I don't know. Hugh Jackman's on my mind. And I mean, three claws for Wolverine, three pistols champion. It, oh, yes, it's perfect. It works out, 100%, yeah. And uh, he won't take a picture on a hotel bed with a phone like, right, like Blackwood right, did. Right. I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but if you, if you know, you, certain image. If you know, you know. So <laughs> pivoting a little bit, you know, 20, the last you, you debuted in 2020 and then kind of lost, as we all did, you know, yes. a year, two years. If everything goes okay in the world and you're able to get like a full year of wrestling out of 2023 or just in life in general, what is one goal you have for yourself for next year? Um, honestly, just wrestling everywhere I can and anywhere I can. I'd, I would really like to get on the West Coast in 2023. I'm not sure if that will happen, but that's one of my goals. Um, so I'm striving towards that, just getting to new places and... Uh, wrestling any anyone book this man book this man before he blows up and when he blows up and after he blows up and uh i was gonna ask you too did you bring the three pistols title to AEW, or did you think that was a little bit too uh <laughs> i mean it was in, it was in my bag because i just i keep my i keep everything in my bag i like smart barely take it out but yeah it, it was there well that's awesome. Thank you so much for uh, for spending time with me today. I look forward to all of your matches. And like I said, if you don't have us on IWTV, sign up for IWTV. Use the code 400 North. Look up this man's name, Myung J. Lee, M-Y-U-N-G dash J-A-E space Lee. Yes. Just like it sounds. Sometimes you don't have to put the dash. 
look up his matches, look up all the Barry Wrestling stuff. And Myung J. Lee, where can the people find you on social media? Uh, my Twitter and Instagram handle are at Myung J98. That's M Y U N G J A E 98. Awesome. And again, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Mike Jeffries. You can find me on Twitter at Mike Jeffries PA. It's just like it sounds. This has been Getting to Know with Myung J. Lee. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Awesome.